Yanagi and Matoto, Matoko, sorry, and um, the method we're going to use today is that Matoko is actually going to talk about the work because um, Matoko and Yanagi work in a partnership. They've been doing um, similar works for five years together, so it's, it's actually collaborative in that sense. And at the end of Matoko's talk, Yanagi will answer your questions, of which I'm sure there will be many. Thank you. Hi. My name is Motoko, and first I, I talk about the piece, Be Free. So uh, this piece is called Pacific, and uh, actually it's an ant farm piece. And you, as you see, there are 49 flags. Uh, artists choose 49 nations facing the Pacific, as well as the European countries which used to have colonies in Pacific. He also includes the symbols of the natives, such as Aborigines and Maoris. The structure of this work is, uh, is simple. So on front, you will find these ant farm flags, and on the other side of the wall, there are also plexiglass boxes, and we release the ants in the plexiglass boxes. And you see two holes here and there, and these holes are passing through the wall and connected uh, from uh, connected these ant from flags and the outside box on this, the other side of the wall. So ants started to digging a hole and they carry sand from flags to the outside box by nature. And the ant we are using for this installation is called, commonly called meat ants. Yeah. And the scientific name is, I don't know I pronounce correctly, but it, it's called Iridomi Mex Pupuwewes. Me that be fine, I think. The artist uses the native ants everywhere he exhibits. So the meat ants are, of course, Australian ants. Yes. And uh, we asked advice from the doctor at the Queen's Museum next door, and he said this meat ant would be suitable for this piece. So he collected meat ants from one colony and we released them on Friday. Yeah. So they started work like this in two days. Okay. Um, as you see, there are flags uh, made by human beings and these are the symbols of the countries. And and so of course insects and they never understand the flags or the borders of the countries. And the artist is interested in combining two different things such as human symbols and the insects. And sometimes people ask uh, how, uh, people ask the artist why ants? And he sometimes answered. Um, it's, it's because the, he's, he used to work with insects when he was a kid and insects is the only toy he was given and also he sometimes sees himself as ants because he travels a lot from country to country to, from museum to museum crossing borders and sometimes he asks you know, what, what's the, the, what the nation, what the borders of the nation, such kind of things. And from these flags, the ants start carrying sand to the outside box, and in the outside box, it's going to be a kind of another symbol or another, the, yeah, of the colored sand from those flags, and he, thinks it could be considered as a 
the construction of the flags or one universal flag. Yes. yes. Now, are there any questions? How is the sand colored? Uh, so the sand was uh, originally just white. It's a special sand for the plant. So very light and uh, it soaks water well. And uh, so easier to dye. So yeah, I dyed that by uh, pigment. Uh, yeah, 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 it's basically natural pigment. Oh, so so inside this uh, box, uh, there's a feeding box. So they basically it's called no, it's meat ants. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So they eat the cockroaches. <laughs> so it's gross. So you, <laughs> just that I don't wanna show you. <laughs> oh, it's hard to tell you because it uh, always depends on ants. Uh, for example, the. Uh, American hands, which usually I use, they work really hard, so, you know, they, they destroyed about three months. But for example, the ants, which I used in the France, they didn't work here, so nothing changed. So, I don't know, let's see Australian ants. <laughs> yeah. Seems, yeah, start well, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, after three months, what happened? Uh, hopefully, not the, uh, I have to do that. You know, yeah, you have to ask the other kinds. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh yeah, that's uh, always people ask me. It's yeah, hard to count them because they never stop. <laughs> yeah. So I'd say maybe few hundred, yeah, uh, three or yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can say that way, way but uh, people also think their own way to through my piece. So. No, no, they physically do, because that's their nature. <laughs> yeah.